And welcome back. So, I've started up another run, and this time we're going to get Thorn Symbiosis and Dead Words for the next floor. So, let's see how well this goes, because this is a good example. I've got a Ranger with me. He's not, like, Ranger's a really good single target, but when it comes to um, Symbiosis mobs, you don't want single target but at the same time he actually kind of counteracts the effects of my earth drive by like not desyncing them so stuff doesn't moonwalk quite as much when there's a ranger around which is nice now these mobs are thorn so they will damage reflect me but i'm primarily uh earth element so i'll just slowly Yeah, I'll just explain. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. And yeah. It's not a good idea for him to aggro stuff. Because uh, nothing can miss in here. Also, they do magic element. They, they do like magic type attacks at range. So he's basically just killed in like two hits. So I can generally survive quite a bit because I have high regen and also um, I can block stuff. So these dead, these uh, devil eyes, the um, their attacks are, you know, magic in bay in nature, so they're not physical at all, and that's why I brought some of these, so I can revive them. Technically, I could just take them over to one of the um, the thingies that lets me change jobs, and then I can just change over to a a revive job like a priest. I have that as a multi job, so that's why most people generally don't think that you can tank through this. But I have enough um, regen stack that I can usually handle this stuff pretty well. So let's see what the next floor brings because, again, symbiosis not too good if you are focused on single target dps you really need to spread that dps out um, technically you could just focus on one at a time until they're almost dead and then just switch and then keep doing that but if you don't have someone who can keep the enemies away it gets really tricky um, i'll just explain it to him at the same time because mob aggro Works different. They will so if a mob is closer to me and they've already aggroed on me because like I've attacked them first, then they will stick to me. So if he stays at a distance and shoots that stuff. So if he shoots that stuff attacking me, then he should be safe. You know, I might be able to taunt it. Though, if it's a mob that can seal away my ability, then that's not the case. So. Now I've run with him a couple of times, so he's pretty familiar with this stuff, but I figure I might as well. Oh, and we have the hiding. I noticed some hide nearby here, and weakening mobs are my bane. So 
So let's just kill some of these hiding mobs nearby, and then I will look at aggroing these um, weakening guys here. So yeah, you can see right away I am not doing any damage. I can't even attack them. So the only thing I can do is just rebuff and then hope, hope that um, the usual way is that I can run away and then come back in after like casting my um, my command charge so that I have a passive AoE going. However, um, because I have a ranger with me, it makes it so much easier because I can just, oh, yeah, you can see there they were making a run for it because he poked them first. Um, however, because he's here shooting at them, then uh, that makes the weakening mobs so much easier to deal with. Because, yeah, he can just shoot at it while they attack me. And because I'm... You'll notice, normally, what would happen is I would have to keep reapplying Taunt, or else they would change aggro, but they don't change aggro in Echoing Corridor. So, that is a very important thing to keep in mind. And we go here. Oh, those weakening mobs are the plants, so that's good. Hooray. But, yeah, these guys... Just go around and I won't be diving into those guys. I'll be just sort of hanging out at a distance here. Because, yeah, they will prevent me from doing anything if I get too close. So we're just going to see if we can find where the... Um, Where these guys are hiding. This counterattack halo will hit hidden stuff. Um, there he is, right there. There we go. And there's the last one right here. So I'm going to use a fire converter, and then I'll just help poke at him. Some mobs are really easy if they are these uh, plants and because then they can't move and you can just poke them so um yeah just the mechanic floor left void trap so oh oh crap Ooh, that's oh my god i hate this floor sometimes let's use command charge to counteract the slow effect oh there it is Oof, I hate those <laughs> I hate those traps sometimes they're a bit hard to see where the safe tiles are and they slow you down when you're inside of them fortunately command charge counters that now then um, yeah, let's get let's get another book and I need I need a map where are you map give me a map no maps and no maps. Okay. I have four more, so. I should have lots of books now. I forgot to check what my what tier my books are upgraded to. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, almost max. I don't need any more books. That is. That is super fast spam. So I'll probably focus on getting some stuff for the ranger guy. Ideally, like, let's see what we got. Ideally, I'd like to get him a vampire mask, but that's so expensive. So yeah, we got Unreal and Heart Taking. Unreal is just a big AOE around them. So, oh, 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 there we go. Almost, they almost got him. They were running to get to him, but... And then these guys here, let's aggro them over to me. But yeah, they do seem to heal when they die, but it's 100% heal. And they, they will also activate a heal every few seconds. So these are really annoying mobs sometimes. I'm going to pop my buffs, get ready. 
and right in the middle. Now with these guys, I can auto-attack, right? And I do have Spear Quicken. Um, I think, yeah, I can't use items yet, so. But as you can see, when I hit, I actually do percent HP damage just the same as if I was using a skill, so. We're gonna have some more of those guys on the next floor as well, so. Let's go. There's heart taking. There's heal. Yeah, okay, let's let's aggro some. If you have a hard time dealing with the amount of damage they're dealing, then just aggro small amounts at a time. They have reduced aggro range, I find, compared to most mobs, which will have a lot more aggro range. So you're able to to play a little more with uh, mob aggro in a skirt around it. And as insurance, sometimes I'll taunt just to make sure. I want to deal a lot of these guys last. Let's do that, let's do that, and then let's go right in here. So yeah, I'm doing like 42k normal attacks and then this 180k. This will go up because um, right now their max HP determines how much that red damage is. So by like higher floors, that's doing over 200k. So, and it does work on bosses as well. So now we just have the mechanic floor. Avoid traps. Oh God, this again. Okay, ouch. Still took that. Uh, oof. Command charge again. It's nice I can spam command charge with these uh, codexes. So usually before it even expires, it will, yeah. If I max that book out, I would be able to cast them just as fast. Okay, I need books. Or maps, I should say, maps, I need maps. I got enough books. Priorities on maps. No map, no more maps. Okay, we at least got one. As long as you get one map every floor, you should be okay. But generally, you want to see if you can get a surplus. Sometimes you'll get little events, and those events, if you if the event allows you to spawn a boss, you'll get like 500 plus coins out of that, which is crazy good if you can do that. So. All right, and let's go down here. Boop. We have Bash, Bash, Thorn, and Toe. Okay, Toe, Thorn, and uh, it is <laughs> his Wind Element mob. So watch. Ah, oh crap! I just got towed across the map. Whoops. heal up a bit here. Um, hmm. I want to think I might, yeah, I'm safe to, to do that for every now and then. But let's get my thing off there. Oh, yeah, this counterattack halo is kind of nice at not getting hit by the thorn. Rebuff. Let's see. Let's endure again. There we go. Thorns are dead. And now, ah! Oh, he got towed into me. I was like, how did I die? Yep.
have them. Technically, I don't need to burn up one of these soul crystals. I could just go to a revive point, but oh well. Yeah, there will be, for the next mob floor here, we will also have the, uh, the thorns. So we'll just go over here and then get ready, buff up. Boop. There's the thorns. Boop. These guys are shadow elements, so I don't really do enough DPS to um, kill myself on them. Especially if I aggro a smaller mount. I should try to kill the, um, the thorn guys first. Let's go poke the last one here. charge off and there we go so you can see his um, auto attacks actually pull stuff back towards me it counteracts the uh, counteracts the the desync from my earth drive for some which <laughs> for whatever reason that's caused by now if he does stay at max range he should be safe against the toe but yeah and now for the mechanic floor i'm just gonna pop command charge just in case there we go moving curse safe spots right here it won't hit in this little area here so Take a drink of tea. Close to bedtime, so it's just like a peppermint tea. And off to the shop. Let's see. What do we got? Yay. I think we have... Yeah, we have about five more floors, so... I only really need maybe one more. There we go. Now we can start saving up. Now we can start saving up. Energy crystals are good for him because that will give him true damage and the vampire mask will give him, basically he will regen like, as if he had like a goblin leader card. That will actually help him against Toe, so he's actually able to attack Toe for a little bit, because with my healing plus his um, vampire mask, you can actually counteract the DPS from Toe. So, let's rebuff, pop, and uh oh. Yeah, leg. Whoa, okay, I'm desynced. That's why, even though I've got my, um, even though I got Endure on, it still, like, desynced me. Because it was technically pulling me from one side of the map to the other, so my client doesn't know where it is. Now, the Bloodbath guys, again, they have this huge damage reduction bonus that they get the lower their health is, so... Um, Will ha oh, heal mobs are going to be a pain. I might be able to get the kill off on them before they get healed. Oh, nope. Damn. I really... Okay, they, they didn't get their um, damage reduction bonus from... Um, I was worried that the damage reduction would stay, even if their health got full. But, yeah. So you can see I'm doing very little damage with my actual earth drive, but what's doing damage to them is that um, red damage that you see, where it's still, it's almost 200k now. So that's bypassing their damage reduction. So magic barrage really helps do um, damage reduction here, or deal with damage reduction.
Yeah, because you'll notice that when I jumped into this map, what happened was he wanted to path back to where his old character was, and that can happen sometimes. And, of course, that caused us to start right next to, um, right next to the toe mobs. He actually spawned, technically was right inside of the bloodbath mobs, and they just killed him in one hit, so... That'll happen. And yes, we got more toe. Yeah. Now, if I can keep them taunted, then that will even prevent him from um, getting towed away. So. Yeah, you can see he's able to hit them fairly safely from a distance. Though, he's not hitting that one, so you can tell that that guy is uh, sliding away. Uh-oh. Heal mobs. No. Oh, God. Yeah, it definitely sucks if they slide in his direction. as they might proc their toe and then pull him in. The toe, it, it has a weird like delayed hit where if you do hit somebody or if they do get towed in and they don't move, they'll get hit automatically. Um, that's usually what causes people get revealed if they're hiding because it will automatically hit them. If you're moving, you're possibly able to, um, you're possibly able to move out of the range of the toe just in time so that it doesn't do that toe hit. Oh, yeah. He got too close again. I think he probably misclicked. So, I don't have any more gems, so... Oh, and then they bugged the room out. No! Oh, come on, tight. Yeah, so his body didn't come with me to this room, so if I go back there, it won't actually let me revive him. Ugh, I hate when that happens. Um, I'm going to get him an energy crystal, though. We'll go to the next floor. Alright, actually, I have to do a mechanic floor, so... sometimes happen if you try and like jump it over like if you try to change rooms so yeah because for some reason his body didn't follow me so easy fix to that is you go to the next one over here and hopefully yeah see his body came with me so switch over here revive I'll even give him a Spurzio. Now I gotta wait a while. Actually, we can do our wait in here. Yay. There we go. So once we're done with this floor, I'll go back and change my job. So. Now, if you load into this room fast enough, this barrier doesn't pop up. If not, you can always hide in the corners, so. There we go. And change back. And unfortunately, my Divine Avenger needs to have Tension Relax on, so I have to add that back every time. There we go. Now we can go and see what the next mob floor is. Oh, and it lagged. Oh, God. I hate when it does that. All right, seal. Seals are okay. Thorns. Okay, let's try not to aggro the thorns. Oh, 
I'll just send out a warning. See how much I do self damage myself against Thorn mobs. And yeah, that guy's uh, desynced like crazy. Keeps wanting to go. And yeah, then he's over there. Okay. And Troop of Thunder. That's gonna hurt. Let's just wait for that damage to come out. Apply my heal bonus. There we go. Oh, almost. One left. There we go. And we go to this one. There we go. Thorns. These guys are the seal mobs. So let's do that. These guys are the bash ones. Let's pull them over so he doesn't... Because he can, uh, with his splash damage, he can end up... Uh, poking the thorn mobs. I'll just apply my uh, heal back on him. And I'll go poke, auto attack. You can see I'm doing 200k there and 48k there. I do benefit from the energy crystal as well. So. If he does have, I don't know if he has any way of throttling his damage down. Um, again, if he does have the, the vampire mask, it helps out a lot. Let's do that, let's do that. There we go. So the more that I hit stuff, the more that I get that 3% HP damage, so it's possible. I don't know if like unequipping your weapon would work for that and just focus on doing a lot of little hits like what I'm doing. That might be a good solution for other classes for dealing with thorns. You know, change to like earth element and then just do a lot of rapid hits. Aside from that, I'm just relying on my low DPS and the uh, my self healing. Oh yeah, I don't have the fire because I used um Spursio on my priest. That's why. Boop. There we go. And shot. Energy crystal, yeah, let's do that. And there's the exit. Save, and do do do. Pretty sure we only just need, we don't need any more books. All right, symbiosis and a bash. Oh, I was a little worried that he ran off, but he didn't quite leak. I think he was just taking a peek to see what was around. Fortunately, they're wind elements, so I'll be able to kill him very quickly. And they're not like glitching out and warping all over the place, so so we have no problem killing them all within that five-second window. So 
though these guys were applying defense bonus to everybody. Maybe we just sit back and chill while he murders him. There we go. Ooh, and a box. So now we have even more, more options. Let me go over to this one. All right, Bash, who's symbiosis? These guys are not. Let's just aggro some of them. There we go, get this guy. That will get rid of the defense bonus for everybody. And then I'll just try to dive in and... Oh no, he's warping away. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, I hate when that happens. And then he freaking ran off over there. Come on, stop it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, and he's immortal. Crap. Yep. Ah, I hate that. Oh my god. That's the one big thing I hate about Earth Drive solo carries on this against symbiosis mobs. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass. sure why that only happens for earth drive i haven't seen that happen with other skills well let's switch back revive Boop. get the buff off and then we'll do the trap what's this one hold Oop. Actually do heal SP with this. And then back over here, let's change jobs. Actually, let's rebuff. Let's give him free buff. And get my tension relax back. And then we go to the shop. We should have only two floors left, so I don't need a map. Shouldn't need a map. Mm. I'm tempted to save. See if we can get him that mask. Yeah. Won't be used for very many floors, but oh well. We haven't gotten a random event, which kind of sucks. I like having those. Oh god, weakening. And unreal. Oof. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, I'll pull the weakening mobs first. me. I've still got my buff on, so I'm still healing. And there we go. I just gotta stay away for long enough, and then we'll do the Unreal guys next. Get that off. I can at least auto-attack them. Oh no, why Why is he going towards him? I think that was the auto cast. 
command charge desync them there we go now it's easy oh except I want to make sure we kill these pourings off Actually, I want to pick which side we go in from, so. Because if you just click randomly on the map, it doesn't necessarily determine where you'll go. I'll give him a life vow as well, just in case. That'll help. And let's see. Unreal. And weakening. Yeah, let's... Mm. I might be able to get the weakening down first. Let's try that. Come on. Oh no, an Unreal got me. Yeah. At least they aggroed on me. That's the main thing. I didn't really want to get the split guy involved because if he revives, I can't hit him. Okay, we managed to kill the pourings. Because, yeah, if something auto-revives and I'm not there to be able to taunt it, then that's potentially bad. Because I can't pull it towards me again. So that's why some of these combos can be really nasty, like with the split guys. Or um, Symbiosis is also one I've seen. We've had troubles with that where um, if I can't taunt the stuff right when it auto revives then it runs towards the guys doing the DPS and the way that the aggro works is it's focused more on um, who hits it first or who is um, oh crap oh damn I wasn't paying attention Thought it was a disc floor. Um, let's see. Can we? Hmm. I need a clearance. I need a clearance stone. I might as well show it. Let's see if we can get a freaking clearance stone. Nope. 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 Oh, come on. No clearance stones? Oh, there we go. There we go. Clearance stone. Okay, let's try boss floor. Hopefully it's not wolf grandma. If it's wolf grandma, we're dead. All right, and clearance stone. Already had one. Oh shit. And I don't have the warp out one, so. Because uh, Granny is anti-heal, damage reflect, and instant kill. Granny is complete BS in Eklund Corridor. Especially when there's stuff like... Um, I mean, you use the clearance stone so that you can like counteract the floor effects. Like the, um, the one that prevents revives, the one that um, stops SP regen, stuff like that. So... Uh -huh. Load that back up.
yeah, pretty much Granny. Um, Devine might be a problem because I know Howard likes to do uh, his AoE pull thing, which might kill my DPS buddy. But yeah, Granny is for sure a hard nope. Um, dead words, heart taking, and hiding. Okay, so easier set of uh, floors here, or mobs here at least. There's the hiding mobs. I gotta make sure I taunt them so that they don't murder him. Oh, they, they still got him. I think this guy did a ranged attack or something. I think that's what happened. see them do these like skills and some of those are kind of ranged I don't have that um let's yeah at this stage um, it's pretty much instant kill for most people if you don't have enough HP. And then we'll go do this one. Hold. Okay, yeah, this, this is the hold floor. Relax back on, and I think it's this one. Let's see. Yep. Dead words. Let's let's just. Ah. I think there's a hidden. Yeah, there's a hidden one there. You can sometimes tell if you see these red dots, and there's no mobs in that area. Then it's probably a guy hiding over here. Yeah. Let's do this. That'll re reveal him. And there's one over here, I think. Let's do command charge. No? Okay. He's not. Oh! Okay. Almost. I managed to get in there in time. They were going for him. One item is this holy secret drug, which makes you immune to damage for a couple of seconds, like 10 seconds. So if you're able to DPS fast enough, you can uh, you can murder everything within that 10 seconds. And then you would just need uh, two of those drug potions per floor to clear each room. So that's one option if you are a bit too squishy. Okay, now we have 420. Not quite enough for a mask, unfortunately. Um, hmm. We have two more floors, so. Two more floors.
I always try to zoom out every time I change floors because you have to re-zoom out every time. Yeah, I think I have to buy another map as well because there's still floor 60. Okay. Oh, he's unreal. Symbiosis. Yeah, I'll grab the symbiosis guys first. Oop. That's murder, murder, murder. Come on. The Kyrie is being a pain because it's making these guys more defensive. Oh no! Almost crap. Ah, oh, that Kyrie threw our timing off. Okay, the, oh no, I hate that. They're now staggered out too far. Yeah, he's gotta stop attacking them. We gotta kill these Kyrie guys first. Oh, and he aggroed. Oh no. Crap. Yeah, the Kyrie guys are throwing off our timing. And then, of course, my Earth Drive just uh, desynced this guy. And yeah, also that one too. Let's just wait for him to uh, re show up. Oh, there's still one left. Oh, that's just such a pain. Why is he not dying? It's because he's Earth Element and I do Earth damage. God, I hate when those mobs are around. There we go. Fortunately, he's Agility Crit, so Kyrie doesn't really bother him. It mostly bothers me because they, I don't know how much, like I'm guessing it's a defense percent bonus that they get, because I do have a lot of defense ignore, but obviously they get enough of a boost from something, so right, let's go on to the next floor. So these guys are the Unreal, let's, yeah, might as well, let's pull them along here. And get them killed off. Get the Unreal mobs out of the way, and then we'll do the Kyrie next, right? Let's see, Kyrie, 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 there we go. Pull them in. Yeah, that one's sliding away. You can see he technically was still there. He was still getting hit by him, so. Now, I can pretty quickly nuke these guys, because they're wind element, so... There we go. And... Mechanic room, green, go, go, go. Command charge is pretty useful for this, just because... You know, sometimes you might want to like run a little circle, just to make sure it... In case you're lagging. Because um, sometimes it might not think you're in the circle, depending on how well, if you're desynced too much or not. So, now I need to get a map. Um, let's see, what do we got? Uh, nothing good there. Mm. I was hoping to be able to also get a vampire mask, but if I do that, I can't get a map, so... That sucks. So I think we'll just we'll get energy crystal, we'll get glove. There we go. Usually I can get a mask if you get one of those uh, random events and then you can kill a boss 
and then you get like 700 coin 500 to 700 coin then it's easy to get masks so yep so sometimes it's just rng let's say make sure i'm zoomed out use my map and here we go so heart taking dash and seal okay that's pretty good heart taking is gonna hurt quite a bit and yeah the bash guys once they get their bash skills out I weathered that, so. Um, yeah, the uh, seal guy is kind of annoying because I have my um, auto guard heal, and they actually count. They they remove my auto guard heal. That's about the only thing that they do against me. And then these guys here. go and then might as well go through the door that way I know which side we're on so let's pull some make sure they're taunted just to be safe pull some more over and then pull some more over that way I don't over aggro and again um, you do want to try and manage how much DPS you're receiving so I am wearing a ghost ring card by the way um, and that is making it so that their normal attacks are doing less damage but their elemental skills are doing loads of damage so oh curses ooh that crap yep that, that's I hate those curses basically it did a double tick of damage I think what happened was one hit me and then the other one hit me and it basically just lagged and did damage at the same time so well, yeah. oh, we'll see if we can get any anything good for fighting the boss This is what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Um, there we go. get him to use the Valk scroll so just make sure he's ready for it yeah, all right here we go and uh, clearance there we go clock bloody murderer and yeah it's three bosses but they shouldn't be too terrible the clock is a bit annoying because oh no disc 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 percent HP damage yeah I should have just ran over here right away but yep 
because that disc basic normally Valkyrie's really good against the boss floors, but disc disc does percent HP damage and doesn't care if you are uh, transformed or not. So. Oh, let's do it again. Because, yeah, I think he might have also been getting damage reflected by the clock. I've never actually used Valkyrie, so... Usually, um, Valkyrie just annihilates the boss floors, but yeah, probably those the disc and the damage reflect got them. So usually, your um, thing is to just run right away to um, to these spots where the disc doesn't go to in the corners. So now we are light wall. So, but light wall doesn't actually affect earth element. It only affects like fire element, holy and stuff like that. So I should have no problem in this case. So and there's the last thorn. He might be using fire element on these guys. I think I'm on neutral element right now, so Dark Wall's the one that's resistant to neutral. And then we go here. What do we have? Light wall on this guy. Split. do too many of these thorn guys at the same time. Let's just wait for my health to regen a little bit. And there we go. Oh, yeah, I just got two. there get some more healing and there we go now we just got this to go here all right let's let's try the uh, mechanic floor again hold okay there we go easy 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 To finish it off, you just gotta go to the last room here, and oh, there you go. Hooray! So that is my one hour, almost exactly one hour too. Few fails, but there we go. That's it for this video. Take care.